And the final con command that we're going to cover for tonight is arm control. And so arm control is used in order to use buttons in order to assign us to motors. So basically, you can use arm control to have an up and a down button. So whenever you press the up button, whatever motor is specified by the arm motor port will basically move in the forward or positive direction and will rotate clockwise. And if you hit the down button, it will then make the robot motor move backwards or reverse or counterclockwise. And then the arm speed just specifies at what speed it sort of makes that movement. So remember that on the uh, on the uh, joystick, you have eight different buttons available. You have buttons E, buttons F, buttons R, and buttons L in both up and down versions, uh, hence why the command takes up and down. And it looks like my slide that had the examples seems to have disappeared. So we'll jump into Robot C and we'll do the examples ourselves. So what we're going to do is we'll leave our tank control exactly here. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in an arm control command. And so for arm control, remember on our, our claw bot that we have two sets of uh, two additional motors. We've got a, a gripper motor and then we also have a, um, a, a lifter motor. So the arm moves up and down and then also the gripper can open and close. So what we can do on arm control is we'll say that I want to use my arm motor which I saw that our motor is a word that I can use from up here. And for button up, we're going to use button, uh, we'll use button R, up. And then for the down button, we'll use button R, down. And for the speed, we'll set it to 50. And then for another arm control, we can go ahead and we can just copy and paste this as it's nice with text that so we can do arm motor and now we'll switch this to claw motor and we'll change this to button left up and button left down and we'll also set it to speed 50. So using two arm control commands what we can do now is we're going to use the shoulder buttons the buttons that are on the top of the VexIT joystick in order to make our robot open and close and move the claw up and down. So let's go ahead and download this program to our robot. And now that we have this downloaded, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our video camera. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my program. And now with my VEX IQ joystick that I have here, what we'll do is we can still do back and forth movements. And let's turn our robot around, put it at a profile. And here we're going to now press one of the shoulder buttons. And you can see now we're opening and closing our gripper. And now if I press the up button, we can move our arm up and down. And now you can even open and close and do everything at the same time. So I could be moving up and down and being able to move my arm around. And so with three lines of commands, our tank control and our two arm control, we're able to now have our robot have a full remote control program. So one loop and three lines of code, and now we've got full remote control available and our robot's able to drive around and do all kinds of cool stuff. So we've covered mostly natural language tonight so far. Uh, we do have full remote control programs available that are not in natural language. Uh, we can cover those in a future class. It looks like we're just about close to out of time. Uh, but if you are interested in taking a look at the sample programs for the full remote control, I'm going to go ahead and just switch over to Robot C one final time. And we can get to those by going to File, open sample program and we're going to go down to the remote control and there's a bunch of different programs that are in here uh, and you'd be able to try out the different uh, remote controls and some of these are older programs the ones that you have work uh, I'm just using a development build so <laughs> I apologize but I promise you that there are working sample programs in there um, 